The Mouse That Wears by Paul Choi. This is the story of a little mouse who discovered that all he had to do to be happy was be himself. There was once a little mouse who lived in a little hole. The little hole was in a little tree and the little tree was in a little wood. The little mouse had never met any other mice and because there were no mirrors in his little hole, he had no idea who or what he was. But one thing the little mouse was completely sure of was that he wasn't meant to live in a little hole forever. Because the little mouse knew, deep in his tiny mouse heart, that it was his destiny to be big. So one day the little mouse decided to leave his little hole and discover the world. He packed a little bag full of all his important mousy things and off he went as fast as his very little legs could carry him. After many days of travelling, he came across a zoo. It wasn't actually very far from his little wood, but this mouse only had very little legs, so everywhere seemed like quite a long way. The little mouse had never seen anything like the zoo before. It was so different from his little hole. It was full of the most amazing, wonderful and enormous creatures he had ever seen. The little mouse saw a great big lion pacing up and down, showing off his great big sharp teeth. He saw a gigantic giraffe stretching out her gigantic neck to eat the leaves from the top of a gigantic tree. And he saw a ginormous eagle stretching out his ginormous wings. It was obvious to the little mouse that this is where all the big creatures lived. And this little mouse knew deep inside his tiny mouse heart that it was his destiny to be big. So he decided, right there and then, that this was where he was going to live. The only trouble was that because the little mouse had no idea who or what he was, he didn't know which of the animals he should live with. Maybe I am a lion, thought the little mouse. So he ran over to where all the lions lived, in a great big cage surrounded by great big bars to stop the lions escaping. Being so small, the little mouse scampered straight through the bars to meet the great big lions inside. Taking a great big breath, which isn't actually very big if you're a little mouse, he let out the biggest roar that he could. But because he was such a little mouse, all that came out was a tiny squeak. All the lions fell about laughing. Hmm, thought the little mouse, maybe I'm not a lion, maybe I'm a giraffe. So he ran over to where all the gigantic giraffes lived, in a gigantic cage surrounded by a gigantic fence to stop the giraffes escaping. Being so small, the little mouse wriggled straight through the fence to meet the gigantic giraffes inside. Standing as tall as he could, he reached for the leaves on top of the gigantic trees, but even on tiptoes he could only reach the grass growing around the trunk of the tree. All the giraffes fell about laughing. Standing as tall as he could, he reached for the leaves on top of the gigantic trees. But even on tiptoes, he could only reach the grass growing around the trunk of the trees. All the giraffes fell about laughing. In that case, the little mouse thought, I must be an eagle. So he ran over to where all the ginormous eagles lived in a ginormous cage covered with a ginormous net to stop the eagles escaping. Being so small, the little mouse easily slipped straight through the netting to meet the ginormous eagles inside. Trying to fly, he jumped in the air and flapped his little mouse legs as fast as he could. But try as he might, he just kept falling over on his bottom. All the eagles fell about laughing. Just then, the zookeeper came along to close the zoo for the night. First, he went to see the great big lions who was still laughing at the little mouse's feeble roaring. The zookeeper put a great big lock on the great big bars to stop the lions running around and exploring the countryside. Next, he went to see the gigantic giraffes, who were still laughing at the little mouse standing on tiptoes, trying to reach the top of the trees. The zookeeper put a gigantic lock on the gigantic fence which stopped the giraffes from reaching the juiciest leaves just outside their cage. Lastly, the zookeeper went to see the ginormous eagles, who were still laughing at the little mouse trying to fly and falling on his bottom. He put a ginormous big lock on the ginormous nest to stop the eagles from flying off and soaring through the sky. 
Just then, the zookeeper saw the little mouse. What are you doing, little mouse? said the zookeeper. This zoo is not for a little mouse like you. Shoo! Little, said the little mouse to himself. You mean I'm not big? Looking around, the little mouse realised that out of all the enormous animals in the zoo, he was the only one small enough to scamper through the bars, wriggle through the fences and slip through the netting. Suddenly, all the other animals stopped laughing. They were all locked in their cages, staring at the little mouse, who was free to go wherever he wanted and explore the world. The little mouse fell around laughing at how lucky he was to be so small. He realised he didn't need to be big. He was a little mouse, and being little was all he needed to be happy. And so the little mouse picked up his little bag containing all his important mousy things and left the zoo running as fast as his very little legs would carry him. He ran all the way back to his little hole, in his little tree, in his little wood. And he promised himself that from that day forward, he would just enjoy being a little mouse, the very best little mouse he could be. The End